to my channel if you're new here and thanks for dropping in by my channel and if you've already been there with me from my recent past and no more instruction is basically needed so today i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this particular makeup look where i have played with like three basic colors being a purple blue and pink so yeah i have played with like those three vibrant and beautiful colors i know all the colors are beautiful but yeah those colors are truly very beautiful i played with them today so yeah i and i created this particular look where i have put on some rhinestone i have did a negative cut crease area and a halo eye and everything is there like you name it and this look totally have it so yeah this is my today's eye makeup look and if you want to know how i achieved this particular base makeup look it's live on my igtv on my insta handle my insta handle is at polumi mimi so from there you can check out this entire base makeup routine so now without any more further blabbering or wasting of your valuable time let's dive into the video done with my base makeup and I have also prepped and primed my eyelid. So now I will be quickly going on towards my eyeshadow palette. The very first palette that I'm going to use right now is going to be the, this one by Morphe X Gem Shots palette. And from this particular palette over here, I'm going to take this beautiful pink shade over here which is basically this one, this corner shade over here. So I'm just going to take this beautiful shade over here and I am just going to start putting it onto my transition. So as you can see, I'm just you know, taking that shade I am, I'm putting it onto like this area. I'm just not going down that because obviously I am going to cut my crease and create a negative space. So I will need a lot of space over there. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just you know without any shadow onto my brush. I'm just you know blending the area around my nose so that it looks like very diffused and well blended so now at this point when you can see that i'm done putting on that pink shade so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to go towards this purple shade over here which is basically this one the one on which i have already hit the pan so i'm just going to take this beautiful purple shade over here and taking this beautiful purple shade what i'm going to do right now is i am just going to take the shade onto my brush dusting off the excess what i'm going to do is i am just going to put it beside that pink shade so yeah that is what i'm going to do right now so now as you can see that i'm done with that purple shade so i'm going to go towards another color and for that and now i'm going to take this beautiful blue shade from this particular palette which is basically this one so taking this, oh sorry, which is basically this one. So taking this beautiful blue shade over here, I'm dusting off the excess and I'm just going to put it just beside that purple shade. So taking the color onto my brush, I'm just going to put it onto like this area. Just doing the outlining and then um, I will be uh, thinking about the intensity. So right now I am trying to blend that light blue shade with this dark blue shade. So yeah that is what I am doing and I am just you know taking that blue shade a little bit into this purple shade. And so the colors do, do not look harsh and they do not look like they have started like one, two, three. They do not look like very distinct colors. They look like all blended and put one together. So that is what I am doing. And this particular light blue shade I just forgot to show you guys is from my Blue Moon palette by Colourpop Cosmetics. And from this palette, I have taken this beautiful uh, shade over here which is called study eye and taking like this shade i just put it onto like that area so now as you can see that i'm done with those shades of blue so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to go towards this green shade over here which is basically this one so i will be putting it onto my like just onto like this area and then i will be blending it with this light green shade so i will be using like this two shades back to back Now going towards that light 
cream shade which is this one and I'm just you know putting it just beside that light blue shade which was known as pearl eye so yeah I'm just going to blend this two shades onto like this area so now at this point as you can see that I'm totally done with my upper lid area so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start cutting my crease and to cut my crease today I'm using my favorite pack spotter ready concealer in the shade 0.5 porcelain so I'm just going to take this concealer over here and I'm just going to start cutting my crease so right now as you can see that I'm done with the cut crease so I'm just going to leave like a tiny negative space onto like this area of my eyes where I have just cut my crease so I'm just going to start a little below that cut crease like onto like this area so yeah I'm just going to start putting on some colors while my like concealer is a little bit tacky and I'm just not going to set it right now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back towards my blue moon palette by Colourpop Cosmetics and from this particular palette over here I'm just going to take this clubbed in dark brown shade dark blue it's not brown yeah so yeah I'm just going to take this dark blue shade over here that's you know the excess and I'm just going to start putting it onto my lid space so for this look today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on some you know dark shade onto like two corners and like onto like this area and this corner and I'm going to go in with some light shades so that is what I'm going to do right now So now as you can see that I'm done putting on that blue shade, don't be scared, I know it's looking a little bit over the top, yeah. So now as you can see that I'm done with putting on that blue shade, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to start on with this purple one, then this dark pink and then that light pink shade over here. So I'm just going to go like this one and then that one and then this one, so I'm just going to go one by one for all these shades. So yeah, I thought like, let me show you guys first the shades that I'm going to go and use right now. So starting on with that purple shade, I'm just going to shade. So onto the center, I'm just going to go in with this light pink shade. done with this entire like lower lens piece area so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my color of cosmetics pressed glitter palette and from this beautiful palette over here I'm just going to take this beautiful glitter shade and it is a pressed glitter so I'm just going to take it onto my flat brush and I'm just going to press it onto my uh, center of my lid where just my eyeball is you know so yeah I'm just going to do that and so as you can see that I have just put on the glitter and I have pressed it onto my eyelid it doesn't require any glitter glue or anything like that so now at this point as you can see that I'm almost done with the entire eye makeup look so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on some mascara so for my mascara I'm using my NYX Coat the Hype mascara and I'm just you know going to take the mascara and coat my lashes generally so yeah and I'm just going to go behind the camera and put on some falsies and completing the other eye and I will be right back so stay tuned. So now as you can see that I'm back after putting on my falsies and completing the other eye so this is how my makeup turned out to be. I put on some rhinestone onto like this area and a mascara and some falsies and this is my complete look. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this entire video and if you guys have enjoyed watching this entire video then do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because it will mean a lot to me i'll see you guys next day with yet another more interesting topic till then take care keep it clear man love you all as always